you will have these situations where you need to expand a given equation, all right? Or where you'll have to factorize a given equation, okay? Now, what do we mean by expansion? What do we mean by factorization? Let's talk about that. So this is, the, this is actually the part that you guys actually need to work on, okay? Uh, this is, I mean, you won't always get very simple questions where they're just going to ask you to factorize a given question or, um, you know, expand. Sometimes the question will lack all that resource, will lack all that information. Okay. So you just need to look at the question and you need to observe and then you need to figure out what you need to do. Is it expansion that you're going to do or is it factorization that you're doing in that question? Okay. So let's talk about expansion first. Um, so what exactly is expansion or what uh, do you mean by expand? Let's write that down. So, okay. So expansion essentially basically means to remove or to solve the brackets that you have. All right. To remove or to solve the question that you have in hand. Okay. This is done. This can be done by the use of identities. So, um, yeah. So the identities are basically yeah. this thing that is right here that I've written. So it's A plus B whole squared. Two A B plus B squared. Okay. Let's see. Similar thing that you get is a minus b whole squared, which equals to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay. Now, this is obviously, I'm just telling you what identities are. I'm just explaining to you, um, you know, this is more of a shortcut method of expansion. Okay. Now, let's suppose if we didn't have these identi identities or we don't talk about them in you know in shortcuts or in identities what is expansion once again it is to solve the bracket it is to remove the brackets right so a minus b whole square would essentially be approached in this way a minus b multiplied by a minus b like itself okay now you would have to solve it further so a times a will give you a squared a times b would have given you minus a b okay now minus b times a will give you minus a b again and minus b times minus b will give you positive b squared now if you add or subtract whatever there is you'll get a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared okay so these identities that we have are basically the exact same thing as just you know that like you'd normally solve or remove a couple of brackets okay but these are the things that are uh, that uh, that you'll get uh, most of the times and you'll have to use the identities to solve them right so let's suppose uh, this we've done these two now we have another one where you got a minus b and you got a plus b which is equal to a squared minus b squared okay now um let's talk about factorize in factorization okay so what does factorization mean factorization is essentially bringing in or introducing or uh, you know basically bringing in the brackets which are not there okay so um see Bringing in or introducing brackets. Okay, now this can be done by a couple of uh, methods. All right, now the first method that you have is the middle term breaking. Okay, so um, we got the middle term breaking method. All right, this is also preferred as the so when you're grouping terms method okay 
we got the extraction of your common factors. Remember we talked about how you simplify, um, you know, you simplify your questions in the earlier part right here. Simplifying algebraic expressions, right? In this case, we were expanding them. OK, now extraction of common factors is basically just the opposite of this. OK, this is from going from this part to this part. OK. Let's see. And we got our. Identities. OK, now what are identities? Identities once again, these ones. OK, but just like we had, um, you know, just like the order. Now over here, this is what the order is. We're going from this guy to this guy, right? And in this case, in factorization, it's going to be the opposite. OK, it's going to be a squared minus B squared equals to A minus B. A plus B. OK. And vice versa, of course. Right, like you have A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. If you need to factor is this, this is going to be A plus B whole squared. Similarly, same goes for this guy here. This will be A minus B whole squared. Make sense? OK, now we got a couple of questions uh, to do. Please try these out. Now look at the first identity that you have. This one. Okay. If you have x squared. Minus 9. This can also be written as x squared minus 3 squared. OK. It will be. X minus 3. X plus three. Okay. X two x squared minus eight x. What you can do is you can take two x common from this. You're left with x minus four. There you go. You've done it. You've done it using the extraction of common factors method. All right. Um, if we talk about the other one, three x y plus six y minus five x minus ten. Um, let's do this one as well. So 3xy plus 6y minus 5x minus 10. So you can take 3y common from this guy over here. You're left with x plus 2 minus 5. Get x plus 2 again. So you get 3y minus 5. You group these together and you get x plus.